Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So one of the most important equipment that we've been using in our RAS systems are sand filters, which are actively being used for solid removal. As you can see, we have them both for our system and in this holding tank that we've been built for our quarantining of crabs. So in this video, we'll be talking a little bit about the maintenance of these sand filters. So as you can see over here, our farm has been running for consecutively for 5 years, 24-7. And our sand filters have also been running for the same amount of period. So one of the questions that I get from a lot of participants for the courses are what are the type of maintainers that you need to perform on the sand filter. So let's have just a quick check on the status of our current sand filter. This is actually a top hatch uh, that is used to place in the sand and it has a wheel whereby we use to mix the sand during back washing. For our new sand filters, the holding tank is all fully made out of plastic so that it doesn't rust like its predecessor. So first step is try to pick a sand filter that doesn't have a metal body. And of course, one of the principal components of a sand filter is the sand that is used inside the filtration. Over time, that sand tends to compact and it is often reflected in the increased pressure needed to pump across the sand. So as you can see, the pressure gauge will tend to clog up faster if your sand is compacted over time. So that's an important point to take note. For hold sand filters in the holding system, we actually use another type of AFM sand that, that does not tend to clog up that quickly. So one of the other problems that we face as a company is the leaking of water through the sand filter backwash line. So as you know that running an RS system, you need to save as much water as possible. And that leak is usually caused inside a faulty seal inside the multi-port valve. And this faulty seal can be attributed by the seal or loss of seal in the gasket that requires replacement over time. So it is important for you to have a spare gasket to address this leak if you have a, a leak throughout the backwash line in order for you to save water. So that's all for this episode. We hope you've enjoyed our content and I hope to see you again in RS Aquaculture.